if you're no good at firing people, you'll be no good at hiring people. Yep, you heard what I said. You need to be good at firing people. And you also need to be good at developing people if you want to get the right people. We all want the right people. We all want great people in our business. And a lot of focus goes into hiring. And that's fair. You should always be raising your standards. You should always be looking to bring in the best people. Absolutely. But there's a myth out there sometimes. I think that if, if I do a good enough job at hiring, I'll get great people and they'll work out. Now, no matter how good someone has been at another business, in another job, working for someone else, there is never a guarantee that they're going to work out in your business. Your business is different. It has its own context, its own culture, its own set of customers, its own market, its own dynamics in lots of ways. And so when someone comes into your business, no matter how successful they've been elsewhere, no matter how carefully you've checked them, assessed them, interviewed them, test them, reference checked them, you still don't know for sure how they're going to go. And when they come in, some people will do well straight away. Some people, though, are going to be at 70% if you've done a good job of hiring. Now, those people at 70%, it's your job to be really good at managing them, developing them, giving them feedback, coaching them, mentoring them, developing them, getting them from 70% to 90%, ideally to 100%. You have to do that or they're not going to work out. Some people are not going to work out in which case you've got to do a good job of firing them. Absolutely first, you've got to try and develop them. You've got to have absolute clarity with them about where they are, how are they performing, what's required, what does good look like. You've got to help them become great. But if you're doing a good job with a staff member and you're giving them great, clear feedback, you're supporting them with training, coaching, mentoring and the like, you're helping them to become great, but they're not responding. You're going to, well, you should know that pretty quickly. In my mind, if you're sitting down with someone talking to them about their performance and, and helping them, supporting them, being very clear what's required, what good looks like, over the course of a month, you should see a change. Now, after a month, you sit down again and you review and say, look, this isn't working, this isn't happening. Uh, and you, you're giving them further feedback, further training, further counselling, coaching and the like. If it's not happening, if you're not seeing a response after two months, it's not going to happen. It's very unlikely it's going to happen, in which case you need to be decisive. If you catch yourself in those moments saying things like, oh, better to have someone in the seat than no one. Oh, it's going to be such a pain to have to go out to market again and find a replacement. Oh, maybe they'll come good. I think they might come good. This sort of crap, by the way, that we've all said, I've been there, I've done it. It's crap. It's not going to happen. Be decisive. You're better off to go and find someone good. Unfortunately, though, once you start looking for someone good, you then get nervous. But what if they don't work out? Oh, maybe I'll find someone better. I want to find someone who I know is going to work out. Like this mythical guarantee exists. In the end, you want to be good at hiring. Absolutely, you do. You want to be clear on your standards. You want to be good at assessing people, interviewing people, testing people, testing them for their attitude, their cultural fit, above skills. You want to be good at back channeling, checking references and so on. Absolutely. But understand that you want to be able to hire good people in a reasonable time and you have to accept they're not going to come with a guarantee, in which case you have to be good at developing the ones who are at 70 or 80%, getting them up to 90 or 100. And sometimes you have to be good at hiring quickly. A really great manager isn't just great at hiring. They are great at hiring, but they're also great at, great at managing and developing. And sometimes they're great at firing. And the best managers can only be the best managers because they're great at all three. So don't just fixate on hiring and who you're bringing in. Also fixate on how good a job are you and your managers, your team, doing at bringing people up, at levelling people up. And sometimes how great a job are you a, a job are you doing at moving people on when that's the necessary course of action? Do all three, you'll have a magnificent team. Enjoy it. All the best.